coil springs for damping. It wasn't pretty, but it was solid. When I set out to design a chain drive system for my scrap metal car, I needed two things, speed reduction and torque multiplication. Since I was working with salvaged parts, I had to get creative but the physics remained the same. Understanding the basics, speed reduction and torque increase. A chain drive system transfers power from one sprocket the driver to another the driven. By using a larger driven sprocket or a smaller driver sprocket, I could. I've always been obsessed with clean energy. Ever since I was a kid, I dreamed of a world where transportation didn't pollute, where energy was limitless and nearly free. And today, I did it. I created an energy conversion system so efficient that an electric scooter can run 100 kilometers on just two cents. I've always believed that great things don't need to be expensive, just resourceful. So when I decided to build my own car from scratch, I didn't go for shiny new parts. Instead, I raided junkyards, scrap piles, and forgotten garages. The mission? Construct a fully functional car frame and suspension system using nothing but salvaged metal and ingenuity. Building the frame. I didn't have a fancy CAD design, just chalk sketches on the garage floor. Using an angle grinder and a welder, I shaped the skeleton, cut and fit the motorcycle frame became the backbone, extended with steel tubing. Reinforced joints bed springs were cut and welded into shock mounts. DIY suspension the bike fork was modified into a double wishbone setup with scavenged coil springs for damping. It wasn't pretty, but it was solid. When I set out to design a chain drive system for my scrap metal car, I needed two things, speed reduction and torque multiplication. Since I was working with salvaged parts, I had to get creative but the physics remained the same. Understanding the basics, speed reduction and torque increase. A chain drive system transfers power from one sprocket the driver to another the driven. By using a larger driven sprocket or a smaller driver sprocket, I could reduce output speed RPM, increase torque rotational force. The gear ratio formula is simple. Gear ratio equals teeth on driven sprocket teeth on driver sprocket. For example, driver sprocket motor side 10 teeth, driven sprocket wheel side 50 teeth, gear ratio equals 50 divided by 10 equals 5 to 1. This means the wheel spins 5 times slower but with 5 times more torque. Scavenging the right components. Since I was building this from scrap, I hunted through junkyards for old bicycle chains durable, easy to modify, motorcycle sprockets stronger than bike sprockets. Pulleys from industrial machinery could be repurposed as sprockets. Bearings from washing machines for smooth rotation. Key modifications. Filing down teeth on mismatched sprockets to ensure proper chain engagement. Welding sprockets to hubs when direct mounting wasn't possible. Using spacers cut from pipes to align the chain correctly. Next, I will drill a hole. Thread the power cord into the chassis to make it look cleaner. Next, I'll connect with the its speed. This is a 350W electric car regulator. You can adjust the slow speed of the car. This is the kind of work that looks simple but it takes skill, patience, and experience. And yeah, a little noise too. Complete step-by-step -step guide for DIY power projects. Building a 7S7 series battery pack from individual 3, 7V1 second Li I don't cells is essential for high voltage applications like e-bikes, solar storage, and power tools. This guide covers the full manufacturing process including cell selection, assembly, BMS integration, and safety testing cell selection and voltage matching. Test each cell's voltage with a multimeter. Ensure all cells are within 005V for example, 3, 65V3, 70V. Reject damaged or puffy cells they risk thermal runaway. Upgrade options. Add a Bluetooth BMS for real-time monitoring. Build a 7 seconds battery bank for solar storage. Hungry as you can see here a BMS circuit balances voltage, stabilizes charging and discharging, a circuit reduces voltage from 29 volts to 12 volts a USB 3.0 circuit is integrated in this battery.
During power outages, I can use 12 volts power to power 12 volts devices such as Wi-Fi 12 volts and very convenient and flexible. So I have just shown you the inside of a battery pack that I designed and now I will close it and you guys look at the outside of it like a suitcase with many uses not only for electric vehicles but also for many other devices. It is a versatile and portable energy storage device. Okay guys and now I will test the car for you to see, here is the battery location guys, it is very convenient to attach to the car. When not using the car, I can remove the battery and bring it inside the house and use it for other devices such as a Wi-Fi fan or phone charger. Wow guys, really when I upgraded this gear motor, the car runs very smoothly and very strong because this motor has very high RPM, when decelerating, the torque will increase and it still runs very smoothly. Thanks to this deceleration system, the motor will reduce its load a lot, it will consume less electricity, helping to travel a longer distance. There guys I ran around this park so many times and now I'm going to check what the battery voltage will be everyone. Oh my god it's still 27.3 volts, so strong.